Today's topic is insulin. Should you get it before or after meals? Insulin therapy plays an important role in managing your blood sugar levels and controlling any complications caused by diabetes. People may require multiple intakes of insulin in a day, with some even requiring multiple types of the hormone. How much insulin and what type you require depends on your diet, lifestyle, and the complications you are facing due to diabetes. No matter how you get your insulin, the intake can become tricky if you're not aware of how you have to take it. Here's a look at whatever you need to get insulin before or after your meals. What happens when you take insulin after a meal? People with diabetes are usually advised to take insulin around 10 to 15 minutes before their meal. No doctor recommends taking insulin after you have eaten because it can be a health risk. Your blood sugar levels start to rise as you eat, making your body's digestive and excretory systems active. The body's insulin is released, and the kidneys start to filter out excess sugar from the blood as well. If you take insulin at this point, it will lead to an overwhelming response in the body, to the extent that the blood sugar could fall far below normal levels. Taking insulin after a meal rather than before can increase the chances of hypoglycemia. Therefore, you need to avoid taking insulin after a meal if you forgot to take it before. You should only attempt this if you have discussed it with your doctor and know the amount of insulin you should inject. Why should you take insulin before a meal? Now that we have determined that insulin should only be taken before a meal, it's important to know just why. As mentioned earlier, blood sugar starts as you are eating. The blood's insulin production, in most cases of diabetes, is not enough to deal with a sudden spike in blood glucose. This is why you have to take insulin right before you eat. The recommended time limit is around 15 to 30 minutes before taking your first bite. The exact time varies due to the kind of insulin you have to take and what your doctor recommends. Also, don't worry about missing a dose now or then. A spike in blood sugar settles down after a while but does not cause discomfort. Being regular with insulin is the best way to get your body used to the hormone injection. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.